Hey y'all, uh, Spider here. Just finally getting a hold of suspension stuff on this car. Uh, made a bunch of changes, which I'll you know go through here on this on this video. Um, went out last week, went to MIR. Uh, wasn't really sure what to expect because haven't really had that good of luck with making suspension changes. But um, I'll post uh, uh, some links of the the. I only got two runs because there was an import race down there, and they basically rolled the track down the whole time. But uh, Gene and the guys down there did a great job of getting the track recovered. So um, first run, it, it stood it up pretty good. Um, I wasn't expecting that because I've never expected this car. It has 57% of the weight on the nose, so I never expected this thing to actually stand it up that far. But it did. I pedaled it a couple times, drove it out of it, and uh, still had a 127 60 foot. I um, think it came down before the 60 foot, but uh, then we, we tied the front end down. We took an inch and a half of travel out of the front end and uh, went out and... And went 125, 60 foot, and uh, I had pulled a little bit of boost out of it too, so it only went at 875 at 154 um, quarter mile. Ran a 560 eighth mile at like 124, so not bad for having a little bit of boost pulled out of it to try to calm it down a little. Uh, but the track, you know, had I got another run, you know, that was nine o'clock at night by the time I got my second run, so um, you know, it's the way it goes, I guess. Sometimes you get down there, you don't know what they're gonna do. But uh, I'm just going to go over, I'm going to crawl underneath the car right now and show you guys some of the suspension changes that I made and what's worked for me with the way my car's set up. So maybe it'll help some of you guys. So kind of made a lot of changes here. Uh, first change we made was the springs uh, front and rear. So front springs we went to a 12 inch 150, so a little stiffer, a little shorter. Uh, the rear spring, this is now a stock 8586 GT spring. Um, I changed the lower control arms away from a regular UPR uh, to these, um, I think these are Granatelli's, um, I'm not 100% sure, they've been around for a while. Uh, we put solid bushings in the back and the fronts have been modified to be double adjustable so I don't have to pull them off to adjust um, any preload or anything like that. But it allows me to set the ride height and adjust preload. Uh, the car was steering to the left when the front wheels were in the air each run. so. That's something I want to fix. Um, so I put uh, a couple of flats um, of, I don't guess it's preload, but uh, just trying to line things up. I don't want to call it rear steer either, but um, when the front wheels were in the air, the car was steering to the left a little bit. So we'll try to correct that just by getting the rear end lined up. Um, also put these adjustable shock mounts on. Most of this stuff came off my brother's car. He's switching his over to a mini tubbed. Uh, coil over setup, so he's not using any of it. So we just pulled it off of his, shoved it on here, and uh, I welded the brackets on the extension brackets, the cheapo ones from eBay. Um, dropped it down about, I think that's about an inch and a half drop. So put my instant center, raised it about an inch and a half, and then I brought it back to about 30 inches, and uh, seems perfect. Uh, one of the things I do need to do is I'm going to get either my brother or my nephew to sit in the car so we can adjust the ARB um, so I can make sure it's adjusted correctly back there. But uh, just a few changes, this car went from being a zero every run and knocking the tires off to standing it on the bumper basically and um, having to actually put front end travel in the thing. So, so next is going to be... Uh, working on the engine a little bit more still lays over just a little bit at 6800 and uh, I never really got a chance to mess with it down there to see if the plug gap was gonna fix it um, like I said I pedaled it the first run the second run I couldn't see the tack because the tack light was out so I gotta fix that too but that's about it we're gonna go out next weekend and uh, we're gonna try out the changes and see if we can finally get this 850 run before the end of the season Catch y'all later.